Fine. Now we have to learn how to solve quadratic equation. 2x square minus 2x plus 1 upon 2 is equal to 0 by factorization method. Before to start this, friends, don't forget to subscribe our channel because on this channel we are trying to cover each and every problem of your mathematics from class 1st to class 12. So, subscribe this channel to get our new coming videos. Now see, the given quadratic equation is 2x square minus 2x plus 1 upon 2 is equal to 0. Now the third term, constant term has denominator 2 and we have to avoid denominator. So, we have to multiply each and every term on both the sides by 2. So, multiplying by 2, we get 4x square, 2 to the 4x square minus second term, 2 to the 4x plus third term 1 is equal to 0. This is by multiplying 2 to the given equation. Now, we have to factorize it. That means we have to split the middle term in two parts. But how? So, first check the product of coefficient of x square and constant term. This product is 4 into 1, that is 4. That means we want two numbers or two factors such that their product is 4. Positive 4, keep in mind it is positive 4. That means both the numbers are either positive or both the numbers are negative. And middle term is minus 4. So, middle term is negative. That means we require two negative numbers because either we will get both negative or both positive. So, we want here two negative numbers to get their sum as minus 4 as a middle term. Now, if you will factorize product 4, then we have two options, 4, 1 and 2, 2. But 4, 1 is not possible here because some of these two numbers, 4 and 1, is not equal to 4. But the second option, 2, 2, is possible because 2 plus 2, 4. So, the perfect option is 2, 2. Since middle term is negative, that's why we want both the numbers negative, minus 2 and minus 2. So, that their sum is minus 4 and their product is minus minus plus 4. Now, we have to rewrite the given quadratic equation by splitting its middle term. So, we get first term 4x square as it is. Then, splitting the middle term minus 4x, we get two terms minus 2x minus 2x as we have decided here plus 1 constant term as it is is equal to in the right hand side 0. Now see first two terms from these first two terms we can take 2x common so by taking 2x common we get in bracket from first term 2x minus from second term 1. Similarly from last two terms there is no common factor. So, we can take at least minus 1 common. So, by taking minus 1 common in bracket, we have to write remaining part that is 2x minus 1. In the right hand side, 0 as it is. Now, see, we have two terms in the left hand side and both these terms contain one common factor, 2x minus 1. So, by taking this bracket 2x minus 1 common, we get in other bracket remaining terms as 2x from first term minus 1 from second term equal to 0. That means either 2x minus 1 first bracket is equal to 0 or second bracket 2x minus 1 is equal to 0. Both the brackets are same. Then sure we will get same roots, equal roots. So that means x is equal to 1 upon 2 or x is equal to 1 upon 2. And hence, we can say that given quadratic equation has equal roots 1 upon 2.